And indeed the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he warned us about a time when this will happen. He said that trials will be presented to the heart, one after the other. And we mentioned this in the very, very first lecture we gave in this series. We talked about life being a test. Life is a series of trials, tests, tribulations. The path to paradise is a path that is full of trials and tests and tribulations. And the path to hellfire is full of temptations. Things that accord many times with your false desires. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, temptation is presented. Will, this is what is going to happen. They're going to, it's going to be presented to the heart one after the other. And there will be two types of heart. There will be one that will absorb these temptations. So they will give in. And they will absorb these temptations. And eventually what will happen to these hearts is they will be hearts without Iman. They will be hearts without faith. And then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, it will not recognize good or evil. It will not anymore recognize good or evil except when it is in accordance with their desires. This is very important because sometimes it may be that your heart recognizes something as being evil. But the reason for that is just because that's your desire. That's your, just your desires. That's what you happen to like. Or that's what you happen to dislike. And this is very important. Because it goes back to a point that we've mentioned before. Evil is not based upon what I like or what I don't like. What I fancy and what I don't fancy. And this is very important also in regard to the hadith we mentioned previously. About consult your heart. Take fatwa from your heart. If your heart is corrupt, then your heart will not be giving you the right fatwa. Because all you are doing is following your desires. No, this advice is for people of Iman. This is advice is for the people who care about what is haram. They care about what is halal. They are seeking and striving in their life to do the right thing. And so that concern to do the right thing, that concern to keep away from the haram and to do what is halal, then they look to their heart in their efforts to try and do what is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, this is not talking about the person with a corrupt heart who just wants to follow their whims and their desires. Because when that person consults their heart, they will not find any reflection of truth. Only they will accept what is in accordance with their nafs, their hawa, their desires, and they like it because that's what their desire is. And they don't like it because that's what their desire is. So they will no longer recognize right from wrong. Except when it is in accordance with their desires. But then there's the other type of heart. This other type of heart repels the temptation. Repels the fitna. And then eventually this type of heart will reach a stage and it will reach a level where nothing can harm it. As the Prophet said, as long as the heavens and earth endure, nothing is going to harm this heart. It will remain firm and strong upon Iman.